What we're doing here today is we're digitalizing work zones. So what we're doing is first off, we're taking the LiDAR vehicle with our Nectar partnership and we're capturing a baseline. That's a stretch of roadway, which we've installed temporary pavement markings from 3M. It's a wet reflective 3M product, which allows the LiDAR to see the lines nicely and to know that they're within the lines. We have a sample work zone set up by IntelliTraffic and U of A. And what we're doing is we're taking that work zone and we're creating a virtual 3D model of this. With a mobile LiDAR unit, typically you mount it on a truck or SUV van. You drive that van through a particular segment. Um, for this example today, we're doing it through a work zone. Once you collect that data, you would then bring it back to the office to process the data. And from there, you would end up with a uh, what we call a virtual 3D model point cloud. With that point cloud, you would then do any kind of extraction or analysis that you would want to do in the office. LiDAR technology provides you a um, pretty accurate, highly detailed representation of the surrounding environment. So if you're collecting a um, scan of a work zone, then you get all the different features of the work zone, the lane markings, the traffic signs, all the barriers that have been set up. You just get a full virtual model of all that information. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging and it's a remote sensing technology that uses near-infrared light rays to collect positional and intensity information of the surrounding environment. The technology also plays a role in autonomous vehicles and self-driving cars where it's used in addition to cameras and other sensors to support the vehicles of identifying any obstructions on the road. I think ATS traffic and teletraffic and Nectar share a common vision um, which involves digitizing road infrastructure and using the digital models to improve safety and mobility on, on roadways. So LiDAR in compared to video camera provide much more accuracy when it comes to location uh, depth precision. So we could expect up to centimeter or millimeter level accuracy from these kind of technologies. This project gives us an opportunity to do both simulation and field work and integrate together in a project. And this research project is much more application based, real world application based in compared to other projects. So it's a good opportunity for university and industry too. Data is the language that needs to be communicated. Whether it's vehicle talking to vehicle, vehicle talking to infrastructure, they need to be speaking the same language. That language is data. Technology is taking over transportation like it has every other field and it's required uh, to keep up with the car manufacturers. With Tesla creating autonomous vehicles, uh, vehicles have eyes now in the sense that they have LiDAR on the front of them being able to capture infrastructure. And again, it's playing with the same themes of data, data collection, and then communicating the data. Technology is going to positively impact uh, safety in the long run in the sense that once you've collected the data, you can actually create a digital work zone where workers are working and this work zone can be communicating to the motorists that it cannot enter into a particular polygon or marked off area being the work zone. A big piece of this is keeping workers within the work zone safer. ATS has chosen to embrace technology, uh, to find our place in technology and we've chosen uh, work zones. When we look at ourselves internally and ask ourselves what might be our core competency, it probably is the work zone. We design better work zones than anyone in the world. We set up better work zones than anyone in the world. And now we're gonna digitalize work zones better than anyone else in the world.